There is a tradition of naming children after the relatives of those who have come before, so that the angel of death can be fooled into believing that you have already been taken. This is my brother Sean. As the firstborn son, he has been lucky enough to have been named after not only one, but all three grandfathers. The name Sean is the anglicized version of Shlomo, my grandfather's father, and Reuben is the anglicized version of Riven, my grandmother's father. My Zadie's parents both died before the war of illness, while Zadie was in the Polish army. No known photographs of them exist. All right, we're back to where? Um, we're back to... Uh, Asking questions about laws. We were at ten brothers and one sister. Ten? That's, that's a big family, eh? Yeah. yeah. Nobody is alive anymore. I'm the only one alive. Um, but one of your brothers survived the war, right? Yeah. One survived... He escaped to Russia and he survived. He died in Israel later. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're all dead. My grandmother, Paula Adler, has always been outspoken, willing to tell her story of survival to anyone who would listen. Here, my sister Sharon interviews her for a school project. <laughs> I'm going to be interviewing Paula Adler, my grandmother, and a Holocaust survivor who was living in Poland when World War II broke out. Can you describe your attitude towards the side? Unfortunately, my, my grandmother has Alzheimer's, and I have heard many of her stories in their various incarnations many times. In this interview, many of the stories she tells are ones that I've never heard before, while others are ones that I know well. Some of the stories have changed. Small details no longer remain the same. This is my neighbor. Start. Okay, my name is Paula Adler. My maiden name is Paula Riboska. I was born in Poland. I lived in Watch. My father was a tailor. My mother was a housewife. And I guess we were sort of middle class family. As they were sitting, somebody recognized them, my parents as Jews and pointed out to the said, actually that person did work, knew my parents with the SS, and pointed out my father and my mother as Jews. When the SS men asked my parents to come, my sister and mother-in-law wanted to come with them, but he didn't know. And behind, my mother pulled her down on the seat and she understood what my mother means, that my mother knew they will be killed. And they were shot and killed. These are my grandmother's parents. This is a picture of my grandmother's brother, Joe, who survived the war. This is a picture of my sister Irene. She is named after my grandmother's sister Irene, who survived the war, and who was named after an Irene from a previous generation. Note the Christian cross around her neck. She was also named Ruth after my grandfather's mother. Our Gentile name, Paul's name was Jankowski. Mine was Kristina Jankowska. My husband was Józef Kazimierz Jankowski. This is a picture of my dad. He is named after his mother's oldest brother, William. William escaped Poland and fled to Russia. Only his wife and daughter survived the war. Here's a newspaper article of my grandparents' arrival in Sweden from a displaced persons camp in Germany telling the story of survivors from Poland and the Nazis. This is a picture of my Aunt Linda. She is named after my Zadie's only sister, Henia. Neither Henia or her children survived the war. This is a picture of me and my brother Howard. 
Howard was named after Mizedi's brother Chaim and Pavel. Chaim was murdered in a small town in Poland called Suhedyna. Pavel was killed in either Treblinka or Medina concentration camps. Chaim had two daughters who were sent to concentration camps where they were forced to make ammunition for the German army. Only one survived. I was named after my grandfather's brother named Nathan. Nathan was Mizedi's second oldest brother. He escaped to Russia during the war, which is his last known whereabouts, and he was never heard from again. I was also named after Mizedi's brother, Isaac, who was murdered in either Tremlinka or Majinak concentration camps. This is a picture of my sister Sharon. As the eldest, she somehow managed to, to escape being named after anyone. There are no photos of, Ma of Max Adler's family prior to the war. The photos that do exist are of those who few who survived. This is a picture of my Zadie and his aunt Masha who survived the war. This is a picture of Zadie's niece, Hannah, who survived the war. This is a picture of my Zadie's brother Shmulek, who survived the war. My Zadie had nine brothers and one sister. Of the nine brothers and one sister, only my grandfather and his brother Shmulek survived. Of the others, Shruel, Fischl, Hania, Izil, and Sutra were murdered in Treblinka or Medinac concentration camps.